A controversial development proposed for almost 900 homes in the Lake Wyber catchment will be submitted to Council next month. The area had been protected from urban development, but the former state government opened the door in a deal to transfer 140 hectares into National Park. The only developments ever approved on the edge of Lake Wyber have been low-density eco-resorts. The planning intent is that the environment's too valuable here to have urban development or anywhere near Lake Wyber. Now urban development is proposed. This is the master plan for Noosa on Wyber to be submitted to Council before Christmas. 876 dwellings, including retirement cottages, apartments, townhouses and residential lots from 600 to 350 square metres between Eno Creek and the lake. The potential size is terrifying. It's, it's not sustainable with the, the local environment. In a deal with the former state government, the Mantle Group agreed to donate 140 hectares of koala habitat for National Park. It's the only biodiversity development offset area project in Queensland. In return, it was allowed to submit a development application on land that isn't zoned for urban development. So that's a net loss. You're basically getting development where it wasn't allowed before. Both the Marucci Plan 2000, Noosa Plan 2006 doesn't envisage anywhere near this type of development. These are the developers' before and after perspectives from Lake Wyber. When you consider we're only proposing development of 58 hectares out of 303 hectares, um, it's uh, pretty low impact. But the environment for us has been paramount. Friends of Lake Wyber are totally against it. I'd make a call to people out there that I wish we could get more people involved. Bill Tange owns the neighbouring eco-resort and says the scale of the development has residents worried. Still, he says he feels for councillors who'll have to make a decision between construction jobs and the environment. Caught between a rock and a hard place. Jennifer Nichols, 7 News. Artists opposed to a proposed development on the shores of Lake Wyber are welcoming people to visit an exhibition that showcases the beauty of the area. The Arts on Wyber exhibition opened last night at the Umarella Shores Retreat. Beginning with fallen branches gathered by the water, artist Elizabeth Poole has created these incredible cocoons. Her inspiration was Lake Wyber. I hope that somehow I can keep it a bit pristine. You know, it's so precious, it's so delicate and fine. The Arts on Wyber exhibition is drawing attention to the beauty of Lake Wyber and a proposed development artists fear could damage it. But to me, it feels like the death knell for this lake. That's how I feel about it. The Mantle Group is submitting a development proposal for 876 dwellings between Eni Creek and the lake. In return for a 140 hectare donation of koala habitat for National Park, the former state government allowed the application on land not zoned for urban development. If this development goes in, uh, it's basically a new noosa on Wyber. It completely changes the place. Since Colin Monk's family moved here in 1870, Lake Wybers remained relatively untouched. And why would you want to put a city in an area that's like this, of, of, of marvellous historical heritage? You don't want to let it slip, uh, you know, away too easily, that's for sure. The exhibition at Umarella Shores Retreat is open from midday till five, ending on Sunday, with creative workshops for families on Saturday. Go to the Friends of Wyber website for information. Jennifer Nichols, 7 News.